Hey, hi. Today I'm going to be helping you with the troubleshooting for resolving the problem of your PC or laptop locking up with a bus sound simultaneously taking place with it. So basically it should sound like this. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty annoying to say the least. It is a nightmare to diagnose, but as you will see in the description box, I have listed the seven steps that you can take to solving this problem. But for the purpose of this video, the primary solution will be on step one, which is checking your CPU temperature. Now to do this, all you need to do is click on the link provided in the description box below for step one, which is to download CPU ID hardware monitor. Now upon using that, what you will get are the scan results of the temperatures of the components within your computer or your laptop. And um, for me personally, turns out my CPU was running at 99 degrees Celsius, which is yeah, gonna cause problems. But uh, we don't have to go into those since they've been fixed. And that's what I'm here to help you do, fix that problem. So if your temperature for either your CPU or your graphics card, or you know, even your motherboard is through the roof, that's what you want to address and I guarantee you it will address this issue. If your issue was like mine with a CPU, all you have to do is just open up your PC, remove the heatsink, reapply the thermal paste, or change your heatsink if you want to, you know, get an even better one so it can keep uh, your CPU cooler. And um, after that you just replace the thermal paste, stick it back in, clamp it, restart your computer, rerun the scan, and the temperature should be from room temperature up to a maximum of 50 degrees and everything should be back to running smooth as normal but if that issue still persists after this which it didn't for me my problem has been fixed permanently but don't worry i'm going to help you fix yours as well uh, just go straight to step two which is to check your device manager which checks to see if all your drivers are up to date now the issue I found a device manager is, you know, it's it's basic, you know, it's basic in the sense that if some drivers are disabled, it'll let you know, and that could be the cause for your issue. But for some people, you know, you might have to use something like Slim Drivers, which is on step seven, and that checks your drivers. You know, it's an even better way of checking your drivers and updating them because it does it all simultaneously for you as well, uh, which comes in handy. Um, you know, after that, uh, if your issue still isn't resolved, go to step three, which is checking the event viewer. All you need to do for that is go through, when you open it, go to the system logs, go through those from the time where the crash took place and start analyzing the event IDs that are corresponding to what your issue might be. What you want to do from that is to just take the ID, Google it, and you should get the solutions according to the ID that you have, because you know there's, there's a million things that could be going on. If you could post in the comment section, we might be able to help you find out. Uh, or help you out with the issue, really. We we'll also want to make sure that you check your reliability monitor, which basically scans the reliability of your computer throughout the weeks or the months that your problem has been persisting for. You can use that to pinpoint certain applications that were installed or hardware that could be the cause for your problem. And uh, after that, we've got you know the typical either run SFC, the system file checker, or run memory diagnostics. System file checker, all it does for you is it just checks system files and the registry within your computer to see if they're all intact, none of them are corrupted. If they are corrupted, you know, it replaces those with uh, proper registry files. And, you know, in a worst case scenario, all you'll have to do is just reinstall your operating system, which shouldn't take too long. And, you know, you could be looking at smooth sailing after that. But if that doesn't work, obviously you can just go straight to scanning your RAM for issues. But I doubt that would be the case because when it's RAM, you know, you generally get the blue screen like that. Anyway, yeah, so after that, if everything comes up great, you should be good to go. And uh, if not, please let us know in the comments section below. Feel free to ask any questions uh, if you need further help or information. I will be here to try and help as best as I can. Anyways, I hope you like the video. Like, comment, and subscribe if you would like to. And all the best with your problem. Have a good day.
smooth sailing. <laughs>